What's going on? I'm going to take the time to say another rest in peace to Johnny Nash. <clears throat> and you're talking about a vocalist. Came from the islands who had a very distinctive quality sound. Like, um, you know, you hear his singing and it was, <clears throat> pardon me, it was very clear. He had a very engaging tone. You know, it's it, it was like, oh, you know, like if you were to... Uh, incorporated I don't know it, it may sound off to some but you got to work with this we put like Harry Belafonte meets Johnny Mathis that's how I would almost describe Johnny Nash um he had a nice uplifting pleasant tone and see when you hear singers and I'm talking about back when people sung not the auto-tune crap of the day and all the fakery that goes on <clears throat> pardon me I'm talking about when somebody could sing clearly the nuances the tone the feeling the frame you were just like taken in by how enduring and the richness and the and and the culture and the tone of it. It was just a um, a very warm feeling that was coming through. So I remember hearing him back in the day, and he didn't sound like nobody else. Meaning that you know people have association with how. A black singer is going to sound or singer from the islands, etc. They got to get this perceived notion. He was very clear. He had a very, a very clear tone. And tone means a big deal when you're listening to like words and nuances and so on and so forth. But his music was versatile. So he wasn't limited. And, um, you know, obviously... Everybody and their mama know I can see clearly now. But I say something to tell you about that. It's it's what I call a money track. It's one of them songs that it uplifts your spirits, moves your soul, makes you feel better about yourself. And it's also a testament to the fact that you get it right. You wouldn't want to be an artist that sat out here and made was around for 99 years and nobody knew one song that you did. And he came correct. And what was so strong was that song was spiritually soulful, definitely had a reggae influence, but had a pop sensibility, had a soul vibe. It's one of them songs that you could put on country. I mean, it, it <clears throat> pardon me, it resonated so strongly through various demographics. And when you listen to his music, his voice, his tone, his phrasing, he was an engaging figure vocally that you were drawn in. And sometimes, like, when you listen to a singer, you're trying to think, well, how and what and how this and that. But you knew that voice. And that's what used to get you. You didn't have to worry about the smoke and mirrors and the hype. Just had to, you know, have the right song, right melody, connects all the dots, and it makes, it makes you feel it. And... I like to say that his music had that kind of feeling and um, he will definitely be missed. He was inspirational for quite a few people and he had quite a few songs and he was a versatile artist. And if you haven't listened to his catalog, I say you give Johnny Nash a spin because he was quite versatile. There was a lot going on there, a lot. So I'm going to take time to send a rest in peace to Johnny Nash and Thoughts and prayers with his uh, family, friends, and fans worldwide. And he was a very unique talent. Hit the like and subscribe. Feel free to share any Johnny Nash stories that you may have. Welcome feedback. Hit the like and subscribe. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And now you can see clearly. You want to keep your eyes beyond just what you see, but what you feel, what you touch, what you taste, touch, and your sentiments. Rest in peace.